In this video, I want to show how the magnetic field of a three-phase motor revolves around the stator windings. In order to do that, you can see I have some diagrams set up here. I have three-phase sine waves. I have a schematic version of a Y-connected motor stator. And then I have a diagram version of the motor stator. So let's start just connecting these two together and see how they relate. So we have L1, which is also the red phase or the A phase. So the L1 connects to this coil here, which I called the A coil. And in this diagram, I have L1 connecting to this coil here. I call that the main pole or the main coil. There's also a wire wrapping around here, connecting it to the secondary coil. And that's shown in the schematic through this point here. And then we have the secondary A coil. And you can see the same as for the other two phases. So just quickly, L2 goes to the B main pole and then to the secondary. Here we got L2 going to the B main pole and then to the secondary. And then L3 going to the C main and then secondary. L3 going to the C main and secondary. So it's important to note that the main poles uh, are 120 degrees apart in this motor. Then we have the sine waves, which are also 120 degrees apart. And you can see the three overlapping each other. And what we're going to do here is just look at a snapshot in time and see what the magnetic pole orientation is. So let's, I'm going to choose this one right here. Let's take a look. <coughs> so when the A phase is at its maximum current here, which will give us the maximum magnetic pole, and I'm going to use my left hand rule for coils, and that was a previous video if you wanted to review that. I'm just going to go over it quickly here. Fingers in current direction, and that will give us a north pole here. This is wrapped the same, that'll give us a south pole here. One thing I want to state before I move on here is we can see that the sine wave is above the line here, which means the current is going one direction for L1. You can see for L2 and L3 that they're below this line, so these currents are actually going in the opposite direction at that same time. So what I, how I have that represented here is if this is the source, the current's coming from the source for the A phase, which means that L2 and L3, the current would be going back to the source. So that's an important concept. Then we follow through with our left hand rule for coils. So if the current is going back to the source in that direction, my fingers are going this way, that's the north pole, which gives this a south pole. That'll make this a north pole, because I know it's wrapped the same. Here we got the current going back to the source. I'm following my fingers along the direction of current. That's a north pole, makes that a south, this a north. So what we have here, is a two pole motor. And we have the six windings creating those two poles. And what happens is these three north poles really act as one big north pole. And then these three souths, there's one big south pole. So that's our two pole motor, north here, south here. Now, we're gonna move along time-wise. So let's erase this line if I can. That's working. And let's just pick this spot here where the B phase has no magnitude at all. It's at zero, which means there's going to be no magnetic field. So let's erase that. Because now we have no magnetic field there. Let's see what happens in the other phases. Well, the A phase, it's going to get less in magnitude, but it's still not changing direction. So that'll still be a North Pole, which will make this a South Pole. And same for the C phase, it's actually going to get a little bit stronger, so this will be just a stronger south pole, and this will be a north pole, but they're not going to change direction. And that's that point in time, so let's move on to the next snapshot. So about there where C is at a maximum. Now remember, it hasn't changed direction, it's still below the line, so this is still going to be a south pole, but this will be a maximum south, that'll be the maximum north. Let's look at the A phase. Again, it hasn't changed direction. It's just a little less north pole if that's a word. And that part will be south. But let's look at the B phase. 
it crosses this line, which means that the current is going to change direction. So the current is no longer going this way. The current is now reversing direction. And you can probably figure out what that's going to do for the magnetic field. Well, the current goes in the opposite direction, the magnetic field's going to change. So if we want to use our left hand rule, that would make this a north pole and this a south pole. So now what we have at this snapshot in time is the, north, the big gas north pole here, or all three of these coils forming a north pole, and then all three of these co coils forming a south pole. But you can see now it's shifted from our original starting point where these were the north pole, now it's this is the north pole. And this is just going to keep on happening. So let's just try one more snapshot in time to see it shift one more increment. So I'm going to jet over here to when B is at a maximum value. Let's erase this. So now the current hasn't changed direction, so this is still going to be north. It's just going to be a stronger north pole, which will make this a stronger south pole. And then let's look at A. Now A has crossed this line, so now what happens is A, this main pole A is no longer a north pole because this has changed direction. So I'm just going to change the uh, poles, I'm not going to change the current. So this is now south and this is now north. And let's look at the C. Well we started here, so it's going to be a little less of a south pole, but it hasn't changed direction. And that's all the changes that need to be made. And you can see again, now we have the three north poles here, the three south poles here, but we don't say it like that. This just acts as one north pole. This is acts as another, or a south pole, but it's shifted again. So just backing up a little bit. So we started out with a north pole here, and then it shifted here, and then it shifted here. And as we go, it's just going to keep on going. In this case, in a clockwise direction. That's all I have to say. We'll see you in the next video.